Hello everybody, speaking of um, flu season, cold, fall, this is time for all the things I hear many, many, uh, especially kids getting sick. I want to share the recipe that my grandma used to give me and my sister when we were little and then we were in flu season. And, um, and it's very, very, very simple. So I'm gonna share with you here. Basically what I have is, I, uh, I have some uh, purple onion, so I just grind it. And this is something I added, which is, I this is garlic, which I'm fermenting in raw honey, which I get from a friend of mine uh, outside of town. She has her own bees, and this is the honey that I, that I add to my food and everything. There is, this is the only ingredient I'm adding that my grandma did not add. I have garlic, the red onion, and, uh, and honey. Those are the only ingredients. What I'm going to do, it is I'm going to add, so I'm adding all this in small container. You don't really need a lot, honestly. And um, so I'm adding this here and all I'm going to do, it is, oh, where's my honey? All I'm going to do is add the honey into my container where the onion and the garlic is. And I'm gonna lick this. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna add more. Here it is. And what's gonna happen is the honey is gonna come all the way down in the, um, the, the onion and the garlic. But here's the trick. I'm gonna close this. And because I grew up in Venezuela, my grandma used to put this outside overnight. She had a name for that, but I cannot remember what was she saying. And she passed, so I cannot ask her. And you leave it outside overnight. Canada. I don't leave it outside. I just put it by the window where there is moonlight. It sounds very woohoo, but it works. I just do it the same way that she did. Put it outside and all that stuff. And that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoy it. And, uh, and I will share with you in, in writing just what it's included.